Welcome to La Mesa and Forest Park. Elevation 2,995 feet. That's not too bad. We have a four day limit, no charge. It's $20 per day after four days. And we've got water and electrical hookups. And we have a dump station available. These 76 acres of land donated for park purposes are the generous gifts of S. Lamar Forrest, whose ideals and whose faith in his community were an inspiration to the host of people who knew and loved him. Dedicated May 2nd, 1952. Well, it looks like there's probably eight different uh, parking spots here for RVs. As far as being level, well, Side to side it's okay, but front to back is a little different. I had to uh, put blocks up on the front tires. Each site has a 30 amp outlet and two water spigots. Again, they're low to the ground. I swear, the further south I go, the closer to the ground these uh, water spigots get. Well, believe it or not, this is the dump station. It's got a water faucet, which is nice, but the uh, dump pipe looks like it's uh, a little high. Well, I guess we'll see how well it does when I leave. All of the RV spots seem to point north, facing the uh, playground here and the park. Nice little park. Relatively quiet except for, of course, the road noise, but that's a city park for you. Well, there appears to be no strong TV signals in this area. And it appears there are no open Wi-Fi signals. I'm quite a ways from the local McDonald's, too. These city parks, with their free water and electricity, sure do come in handy. It's been several days of cloudy and stormy weather. Certainly not good if I had to rely on just the solar panels. Although, as I look at my itinerary, it appears when I leave here that I'll be without such conveniences for quite a while. Speaking of boondocking, when I arrived I had a little chat with a fellow traveler. On Facebook he calls himself Zen Boondocking. Or is it Zen Boondocker? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm, he doesn't do YouTube and I don't do Facebook. Oh well. Uh, he travels in a truck with a fiberglass topper and has a setup in his truck bed that is very compact. I'd even call it a nest. He travels in stealth mode in their typical white vehicle. Has a 300 watt flexible solar panel on the uh, topper roof. But it's almost impossible to see unless of course you're up high enough. He's running his system off two high-capacity AGM batteries, certainly enough to power his lights and water pump and such. But it turns out I had one or two things he really needs to get. The first was he had no adapter to plug into a 30 amp outlet. All he had was a standard 20 amp cable. Secondly, as he was filling up his bottle of water from the park faucet, the resulting offering was kind of cloudy and off-color. So I had him fill up his water bottle through my water filter. The result clearly showed that the use of a water filter should be a requirement for all travelers. It certainly justified my decision to install one in my fresh water hose. But he headed off to Carlsbad to do the cave routine. Of course, there's no telling where he'll be by the time this video is scheduled. The guy has been on the road for about a year and has already traveled through almost every state. I guess the benefit of having a low-profile vehicle with good gas mileage. Something I'm not familiar with at present. Well, hopefully the skies will clear up and the wind will die down for the next leg of my journey. Who knows, perhaps I'll meet other travelers who also travel off the beaten path. As with many of the previous city parks I visited, 
It seems other travelers tend to stay the night here in Forest Park and move on in the morning. I guess I'm not as hardy as they are since they had no problem getting out in the rain to hook up their motorhomes on arrival and disconnect on departure, all while I was warm and dry inside enjoying the rain and thunder. I'll certainly keep Forest Park in La Mesa, Texas on my list of places to revisit. I just have to make sure I have distractions to substitute for the lack of TV and internet. I think I'm spoiled. <laughs>